Yeah, let me ask you this, yeah? Say that a person um, wants to get into the stunt work, how, what would be his procedure? Well, um, there, I, you know, I, I wish it was an easy answer. Um, first off, I'd say make sure you really want to do this because it's going to most likely be very difficult. Um, you almost everybody comes in with a specialty uh, where, you know, you have some skills that you have spent usually years, you know, developing so that you uh, you can compete on, on a professional level and, you know, some people come in with fights, you know, weapons. Um, some people, you know, come in with cars. Uh, some people come in with water work. Some people, you know, um, you know, are specialists in high falls and, you know, burns and things like that. Um, if for a career, um, you want to be as well-rounded as possible. So whatever your specialty is, it might get you in the door but you will be um, more valuable to the coordinator and you are more likely to sustain a career if you keep adding to your skill set. And, um, you know, so you have, the more things you can do, the more likely um, you'll be able to become part of a team because they can have you there for your specialization, but they know they can also use you in other places because there's, you um, yeah, movies go all over the world these days. And usually they're going, uh, they're trying to go wherever it is they can save a dollar. So the more, uh, they only bring in a few people. So basically you want to train yourself so that you are in an upper echelon of knowledge and skills so that, um, you know, you will, you will be selected to do that. Um, that's just basically train your ass off, be really good at what you do. Don't tell people you can do something you can't do 